Well, our final presenter of the day is here, Chris Huntingford, building live with Copilot at ludicrous speed. Chris Huntingford, go! What is up? Can you guys hear me okay? We can. Magical, magical, magical. All righty. Let's have a bit of fun. Let me move Mini David there. And can you see my screen? Affirmative. You got it. Magical. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna chat a little bit about building your own uh, custom co-pilots, which is really what uh, what I've been focusing on in the last kind of few months. It's it's getting it's getting pretty real actually. But um anyway, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Chris. I have the honor and privilege of working with folks like Sharon Smith and Craig White, John Russell. They're all on the call, and good old Keith Atherton. And yeah, I work at ANS. I'm the director of innovation. So basically, I run around telling everyone that AI is far more important than oxygen right now. And today we're going to build some custom co-pilots, but I want to tell you a little bit of a story, right? Because I think this is pretty important. You know, a lot of folks don't actually have tools like Microsoft Copilot for Microsoft 365. Yes, that is the name that it actually is called, brought to you by the same people that name something Teams Teams. Anyway, as we move on and progress, when starting to look at what Microsoft are doing with AI and um, with Copilot in particular, there are three core pillars that you need to start thinking about, okay? Now, those of you on the call are low-code geniuses, right? So congratulations. Um, you're also going to be responsible for the extending and building co-pilots using low-code, okay? And uh, you can put that on LinkedIn, do whatever you'd like with it, but this is really important, right? So the three pillars for low-code, so for AI or co-pilot right now, are adoption. So it's actually driving people to start using Copilot and um and, and actually bring it towards you know people in your organizations. So really like getting it you know wide, more widely spread, extending using Copilot. So you can actually extend Microsoft 365 using Copilot Studio and then building your own custom Copilots, which is super exciting. Okay, so today we're going to focus primarily on the build bit, and I'm going to tell you a little bit of a story. But as um as Dave previously mentioned. Uh, very important to know that the artist formerly known as Power Virtual Agents, which I still think they should have called PowerBots, by the way, uh, was is now Copilot Studios. Okay, so this is all Copilot Studio. It's really important to understand that. So if you have been using tools like Power Virtual Agent, congratulations, you are a Copilot builder, okay, which is very cool. Isn't that awesome? And obviously, this plugs into the rest of the uh, the low code stack and obviously Azure as well as, micro as, well as Microsoft Office. So today we'll be taking a look at Copilot Studio. I have no idea why there's a little six there. <laughs> That's random, but we'll just roll with it as we go. Now, I want to tell you a little bit of a story. I don't know how many of you think that there's life on other planets, but uh, there might or there might not be. And that is a thing called the Fermi paradox. Okay, and we will talk about this in a bit more detail. But I study a thing called planetary sciences at a university called Birkbeck. Okay, and one of the subjects that I get to focus on is called astrobiology okay and it is a very exciting subject and it talks about you know is there life on other planets what is the propensity for life on other planets what are the building bricks for life and, and, and all sorts of interesting things but I, I want to show you something a little bit crazy right so check this out if i go to desktop and i show you my lectures okay so there's a lot of lectures there's around 11 actual lectures and each lecture has got a ton of information in it right so if you have a look there is loads of information in each lecture, okay? And it's really hard to kind of reason over a lot of this information, all right? I mean, look at this, pre-biological chemical evolution and the origin of life. So like, where did everything start out? And when we write our exams, there are open book exams, but we do we are allowed to have our lecture notes open, but it's really, really hard to kind of reason across all that data. It's really not easy, okay? So as you can see, there's a lot of information to consume. So I thought, well, you know what? Why don't I build something that will help me reason over this data? And I thought, actually, a really cool thing to build is going to be a co-pilot. So I created my own co-pilot that helps me rationalize and reason over the information that I have to read all the time. So let me show you what I did, right? First things first, I have a very, very, very awesome SharePoint site that I built. Okay. And as you can see, it's a load of astrobiology stuff in here, right? Now, this is still kind of getting started. I have, I have to add a bunch of things. I used one of the templates. And as you can see, I've uploaded all of my documentation, okay? But it's still really difficult to find information, and it's really difficult to rationalize over all of this stuff. So what did I do? Okay, so first things first, I'm going to create a custom co-pilot to help me manage this. So if you go to make.powerapps.com, okay, you can do this on your site at some point. 
and you click on chatbot, so you'll probably find it in more. Open up chatbots over here. I'm going to create a new copilot, okay, a brand spanking new one. So let's take a look, right? What I'm going to do is it's asking me, I'll call this um, auto bot for Astro Biology. Cool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, sorry, the little uh, goodies in the way. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go put in my SharePoint site URL, okay? Now, what's cool is I don't actually need to put in the document link. I can just simply use this, this URL over here, okay? And a lot of people are thinking, hey, you know, how, how is this going to help you? Ooh, I can't spell either. Let me do that. Wow. Cool. So let me pop the site in there. And I'm going to go ahead and build my own co-pilot. So that's going to kick off. It's going to do its thing. And it's going to really make it a lot easier for me to kind of reason over that information inside that SharePoint list, okay, in that document library. So as you can see, it's built the bot for me already. If I go to generative AI over there, you'll actually see that my SharePoint site is available. The other thing is that I could point this at multiple sites, which is quite cool. So if you've got lots of places with information, you can kind of point it over there. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to publish this. And what it'll allow me to do is once it's been published, I'll be able to use this in um, you know, a co-pilot. I'll be able to publish this inside an app or Microsoft Teams or extend it into Microsoft 365 Copilot, which is really very cool, okay? While it's doing that, there's a couple of other things that you need to know. Because this information is internal, all right, your security will be set to internal. This will not be available to people externally, okay? That's a very important thing. So in settings, if you go to security over here, what you will notice is that in authentication, it is going to be set for only, only for Teams and Power Apps. That is important. If you set it to no authentication, you will get an, authentic, an, an authorization error straight off the bat. So don't think um, for a second that that will work because if you publish this externally, it will look at internal data. So that's really important. We learned the lesson the hard way. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I've got my little thing over there. I'm going to go and ask it for something. I'm going to go get a prompt. So I don't know if anyone's ever heard of the um, Arecibo message. It was a radio signal that was sent into space. I'm going to ask it, tell me about the Arecibo message. All right. And what it's going to do is it's going to go and look inside that document library and find the lecture with that information in it and give me a summary, which is really very exciting, right? So like I don't have to bother around digging around. There we go, lecture 11. The Arecibo message was transmitted in 1974, okay? I'll pop open my lecture notes and there it is. That's the actual pictorial version of the message, okay? That's very, very cool. So I'm kind of halfway there, right? This is all exciting, but actually I want to be able to have access to this copilot directly in that channel. Now, I can either publish it to Teams or publish it to Power Apps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this little dude over there. We're going to go to Power Apps over there, and we're going to go hit New App. Once we've done that, we will go and, whoops, let's go create a blank app, blank Canvas app. We'll call this Copilot V2. Ooh, apparently, I've got one. V56, there we go. We can't go wrong there. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to publish this copilot up to an application. So if you go in here, there are two versions of this. You have got your copilot preview over there, which you can point at structured data. I'm going to go and look for bot, chatbot preview, pop it in there, and we will hopefully find our copilot. There we go. I'll just pick that one there. Astrobot test one. I'll make it full screen. I'm going to save it. Give us a little publish. Come on. Why we're we not publishing? There we go. Cool. Fantastic. And what will happen if I shoot back to my SharePoint site? Ooh, we just decided to move. Let's get back there. If I shoot back to my SharePoint site, I'll go into edit mode. I'll straight away just pop a little uh, tile under here. Let's put it over there. Power apps. Let's get out of there. I'll just use this one here. Details. Copy link. Just to make sure. Whoops. Come on. And we will, we will simply chuck it into the SharePoint site over there. Bam. Fantastic. Let it do its thing. We will republish. And voila. I have a live copilot embedded in the Power App, embedded in the SharePoint site that I can actually talk to, which is pretty cool. So if I go in here and say, again, uh, copy the Arecibo message, copy, bam, Control V, 
pop it in there, same thing, right? So it's an actual live co-pilot embedded in a page that I can go and use to reason over my data. And I've done that in not even 10 minutes, okay? Now, there's something that's very important for you to understand here, is that anyone, there it is, there's the Recibo message, I'll pop up in my lecture notes, and there's the info. I don't have to read thousands and thousands of pieces of information that I don't think are relevant. Now, here's the crazy part, okay? Imagine your organization and you have an HR file structure. And you want to get re you want to reason over that HR file structure by saying, "Hey, tell me tell me how I take leave, or tell me how I register X, Y, and Z." You could do that in literally five minutes. We worked with a company recently. We actually published this um, not not internal information, but they they reasoned over their data, they reasoned over their website. They built something in five minutes that they had previously paid seventy five thousand pounds for. Okay, it is crazy how fast you can create things. So. There's a couple of things that I want you all to know, right? Inside here, inside your actual AI or generative AI studio, okay, you have a lot of functionality. You can upload websites. Whoops. You can upload websites. You can upload, uh, you can physically upload documentation. The really cool thing is you also have got different languages that you can add in, okay? So you can actually turn on different languages. I tried this with Polish recently and it worked beautifully. Okay, so I had a Polish document, so I uploaded it, and we were asking it questions in Polish. It worked absolutely brilliantly, right? So the crazy thing here is that this is far more than a bot. This is actually a really, really rational engine that allows you to understand and reason over data really quickly, okay? Remember that I said to you that inside Microsoft, inside Copilot Studio, you have the ability to extend Microsoft 365 Copilot? Well, here's something crazy, right? First of all, if you understand low code, which you all do, that's why you're on the call. If you understand low code, I would like to say congratulations, massive congratulations, everyone. You are now AI extensibility experts, okay? Go and put it on LinkedIn. Do whatever you want. Ask your boss for a raise. But you are all now officially AI extensibility experts. Your skills right now as co-pilot for Microsoft 365 is released are going to be so, so vital, Okay, and that was a very simple example of what I could do with Copilot Studio over a big chunk of data that would normally have taken me a lot of time to understand. So what I've also done is I've chucked some links in here. Hopefully they'll help you out. Um, it's taken me a little while to kind of figure out the use cases and learn and things like that, but I've really enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed kind of going through the process of building out my own co-pilots and actually I've done loads now, right? So I can't stop, <laughs> but it's great because it's immediate value. And in your organization, you simply turn it on Go and create one and then publish it. If you really want to, you can even publish it externally with specific pieces of data, not internal data. And it's it's official, right? Like AI extensibility is low code. So again, congratulations, everyone, all of you AI extensibility experts in the room. Um, it's really good to be around you. And thank you very much for listening to me waffle about building co-pilots. Awesome, Chris. Really, really great stuff. I think... Uh... I think if you call it Autobot and then you yeah. deploy it, we've got to do the whole like sound effect, like Autobot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got to get the transformer stuff going on. Awesome. Thank you.